Look at the day Sindorn is having, and look at the tough day UND is having. Let's go down to Dana Mock. We talked about Chris Sindorn. I'll tell you, it's some great memories for some Bison players, but there is a bitter memory from one of them. It is former linebacker Brian Magruder. It was two years ago, 1988, on this field. He was an up-and-coming star in that Bison defense. Tore his Achilles tendon. His career ended on this turf two years ago. That's right. One of the few dark spots for the Bison on this field in their last two games. Here's the pitch to Satter. In for the touchdown. Satter. 35 nothing, And there you see Dr. Bob Benson. Now, Nuke to the Ivan north. Sikorsky or whatever you want to call him. He came prepared for the weather, but I think he overdressed a bit. We'll be right back. about first down. How about third down? Well, they've been third and short. And McDonald gets the kick away to Mickens at his own seven-yard line. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. And Omar brings it out past the 30-yard line. You know, the Bison right now are sitting on the verge of a blowout, and I know Rocky Hager does not want to play the Sioux next week. And that's the tail end of a conversation with his athletic director, Bob Ensign. And I know that Rocky is very adamant in conversations with Ensign all week that, hey, this is getting to be a joke. You know, we got to play these guys. Dana, what about this West Region playoff situation? That's the question I'll put to him, Ed. Northern Colorado winning big at home against South Dakota, 38-7, that game at halftime. This game's a blowout. I mean, when it comes down to picking UND or Northern Colorado, if another team goes, is it going to be Northern Colorado based on that performance, or how would that work? Dana, I don't think we can just look at this game for UND. I mean, they've, they've played some dang tough teams. They lost a couple seconds in the two losses they had. And Northern Colorado has had an easy schedule the last half of the year. So I don't. I, I guess we'd have to talk to the people that have been at that game and see how they've been playing. And right now, I see three strong teams. I see us, uh, SLO, and Northridge. Now the fourth team, if there are four teams for this region, that'd be up in there right now. Uh, UND obviously has had a great season. They should have a consideration also. Do you think people would look at the fact that coming into this game they were 11 seconds away from being undefeated at this point, and maybe the pollsters would look and say, as Raul Sanchez scores a touchdown, would say maybe it's just a bad day for the. Well, I think they I think they will look at that, but also they have to realize that UND is playing the number one team in the nation right now. And so they might be a dang good team when you look at the top uh, 16 teams. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Raul Sanchez with a 41-7 lead now. Well, I don't agree with Dr. Enson on that at all, and I'll develop my point when we come back. 